you so much. I'm so excited to be here. I am 6'1", and I've been this height since I was 12. Yes. First day of high school, I walked into this. Shh, shh, shh. The teacher's here. <laughs> the rude girl in the front raises his hand like, Miss, ain't you our teacher? Um, no, I'm your classmate. What do you think this is, 21 Jump Street? <laughs> Elementary school was worse because I was chunky. Yeah, when you're a fat kid growing up, you got to go the extra mile to make friends. I was doing stuff like magic and taxes. <laughs> I'd be on a playground like, abracadabra, it's an audit, let's play. <laughs> I did get bullied every once in a while. One day I came home from school, traumatized. I'm crying in a mirror like, this is it. I don't have any friends. I'm going to run away. And my knees looked up at me like, baby, we ain't running nowhere. <laughs> My guardian angel popped up. Chloe, you can't run away. Tomorrow is pizza day. Yes! Thank you, pepperoni. I'm staying. Oh, come on. Don't act like pizza day wasn't the best day of elementary school. Yeah! That cement block of dough. Those two little Basquiat paintbrushes of tomato paste. The cheese, the cheese. It never melted. It just stared at you like... You're going to get cancer at 50. Um, <laughs> this is not real cheese. I think about my childhood a lot because I'm not an adult. Yeah. My parents have been married for over 40 years. My mom was 19. My dad was 24 when they got married. Meanwhile, I'm 38, single, and I like to take pictures of ugly babies in public. <laughs> oh, yeah, come on. You can't get mad at me for having pictures of your gremlin in my smartphone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if you're not laughing, uh, I probably got your relative in my phone right now. Yeah. I used to be a very mature adult, don't get me wrong. Before I was a comedian, I was a journalist, I did investigative reporting for over a decade, and then I realized people don't read. <laughs> yeah, so I found another dream. And now, in the eyes of my parents, you know, it's a competition. My younger brother's 15 years younger, and he's killing it. So now my parents look at me like I'm the first pancake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you ever go to make pancakes? It's been a long time. The bat is extra lumpy. You're looking like it, like, hopefully it'll work itself out. You pour it in the pan, the pan is way too hot. It burns instantly. It's not even round. It's oblong, staring up at you like, Mom, Dad, what are we going to do about this? You're like, um, we're going to put you at the bottom of the stack, and hopefully in 38 years, somebody will want this messed up pancake. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. All hope is not lost, okay? My brother, he went to Yale University. Yes, but he majored in photography. <laughs> At Yale University! Listen, y'all, it's time to warm this pancake up, okay? Oh, yeah, my parents were devastated. They called me up. Chloe, can you please talk some sense into your brother? Mom, Dad, don't worry about it. I called him up at Yale. Hey, Chad, follow your dreams. <laughs> Now listen, just because you have a life dream and it doesn't pan out doesn't mean you throw your whole life away. I thought I had my life figured out. When I was in my early 20s, me and my girlfriends would get together for brunch. We'd sit around the table, talk about our future. I'm going to get married. You're going to get married. You're going to get married. I'm going to have a baby. You're going to have a baby. You're going to have a baby. I'm going to start a fashion line. You're going to start a fashion line. You're going to start a fashion line. <laughs> None of us knew how to sew. <laughs> But now, I'm almost 40. The conversation is much more realistic. I'm going to get a roommate. You're going to get a roommate. You're going to get a roommate. I'm going to get a cat. You're going to get a cat. You're going to get a cat. I'm going to go to therapy. You're going to go to therapy. Thank you, guys. My name is Chloe. Thank you so much.